Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's me, Plank, again with another episode of He's Got a Knife. As you can see, um, I shaved. You know, all that beard is gone. It's getting warm outside, and, uh, you know, I don't need the Minnesota face protection anymore. Also, you know, I wanted to get a good look at my face. I've lost over 80 pounds. And I wanted to see uh, how I looked under there. <laughs> it was hard for me to get a good guess as to um, how much I had lost in my face. But it's it's come quite a bit. A um, couple of things going on. Uh, I seem to be having issues with my cameras these days. And I don't know if this recording is going to turn out well or not or if it looks delayed. But I'm going to try my best and keep going. I hope that uh, the camera is keeping up with my voice or and not that it's delayed or anything. Anyways, uh, today we are going to be making uh, one of my new favorites. It is called Bulldak, I believe, I want to say. It's a Korean dish. It's pretty simple to make. Um, it could be a good dish for game day yeah um and also it's high in protein there's not much to it super cheap to make all those i will say some of the ingredients may be a little bit challenging to get if you aren't familiar with your asian market um i did have to order one thing off of amazon but overall i seem to be it was pretty easy to find most of the stuff to go along with it there is going to be one slight variation with this dish, and I will tell you when, but the main component of this dish is boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Um, I don't suggest using chicken breasts only because they're dry. <laughs> anyway, uh, that being said, let's get started. I'll get my gloves on, as you can see, and get ready. Uh, there's not going to be a lot of uh, knife work with this. There's a little bit, but not a whole lot. And I hope you enjoy such a lovely day today. And uh, I'm going to get out and go in outside for a bit, take my son to go to the park. Then I'm going to go to the gym, uh, which is something I do now a lot. <laughs> I can tell now some of the video is dragging, so I apologize. Um if you are watching, but let's get going as the show must go on, you know? Let me put my chair up and we'll get started, okay? Let's get this down at the cutting board. All right, so for this dish, we're going to need a few things uh, special. The big one is going to be uh, Korean red pepper, Korean red pepper flakes, and uh, red bean paste. So, first things first, let's get our raw ingredients started. Whoa! As I make a mess in my kitchen, knock stuff over. For this, that cutting board, bring this cutting board in. No cross contamination, Chef Dance. All right. I have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Mine actually weren't boneless and skinless. I had to uh, debone them myself. You can buy them boneless, skinless, so, you know. <laughs> Save yourself the hassle, but I bought these and they were in the freezer and I had to use them up. Anyway, we're just going to cube these up. Uh, very simple. Very easy. I hope everybody's having a good weekend. It's a weekend for me, if you guys don't know. It's the beginning of May out here in Minnesota. It's looking nice out there. I've already taken my dog out, uh, took him to go get his nails did. He's oh so happy about it. 
He had too much excitement. Now he's sleeping. Anybody that doesn't know, I have an English Bulldog. He can only handle so much excitement at once. And then he starts crashing. As you can see, I'm trying to get some of this excess fat off of here. I know fat is flavor, but in this instance, I have to avoid a lot of fat. So, But you don't have to, you know. You can enjoy it. All right. I'll go ahead and move this over to my bowl. I have another bowl on the side. There we go. For any Korean people out there, you know, I love you guys. Um, I'm sorry if I ruin your, your dish. Um, I'm doing it to the best of the representation that I can. But I think I got this. I learned this from internet sensation Mang Chi. She is uh, my favorite Korean cooking expert. She makes me smile. She's a good, uh, she seems like a good person. I hate to think that she's like this horrible person in real life, but she seems like a very good person. She's got a great smile. If you've never seen Mang Chi's uh, YouTube videos, I highly suggest you check them out. Very enjoyable. Her name is Mang Chi, M A A N C, uh, M A A N G C H I. You can look her up, or just look up this recipe for Bulldog, and it should show up pretty easily. I hope I'm saying that right. Bulldog, Bulldog, I don't know. I probably should have researched that before I uh, started saying that. All right, so let's clean up our workstation. Change my gloves. Bring my chicken in. Look better that way. Chick, so you don't see my dog's bowl. Give me a second. Let me wash my knife. All right. Some new gloves. And we will get this started. Um, I do want to say that I preheated my oven for 450 degrees for this. You will see why at the end. Um, <laughs> there's a funny story that's going to go along with this. I'll tell you when we get to that point. Let's see here. So we need some garlic cloves. I'm just going to break this apart. Let's see. It's a pretty decent sized garlic cloves. I think this one's bad. Let's see here. I got a lot. I got quite a bit of chicken here, so let's go with quite a few. Clean up our mess as we go. All right. So 
It's the best way to get the paper off of uh, garlic. Just smash them. All right. Just smash them. Uh, when you're smashing them, you're, uh, this one's got a small blemish on it, so we're going to put that aside. Uh, when you're smashing them, you're releasing all that fragrance and all that goodness inside of them. I believe that is called Allison. Let's see here. As Bon Appetit Kitchen has taught me. I watch a lot of YouTube cooking videos. Just to prepare myself for this show. If you guys have any suggestions as to what I should make next... Please feel free to leave a comment. Um, also, click like, subscribe, all that jazz. If you're watching this on Twitch live right now, appreciate you stopping by. If you are watching this on YouTube, you are currently at Borderless Gaming GSA. And if you are at Borderless Gaming GSA, make sure to check out the more Borderless Gaming web show featuring Geek and Falchion. And their show, these guys gave my cooking show a home, and I appreciate it. Let's see. I'm going to chop this uh, garlic up. Give a little choppy chop. Also, if you go to Main Cheese Channel, based off of what I said, you should tell her I said hi. <laughs> she won't know who I am, but... I think me and Ming Chi would be good friends. Actually, if you go to her uh, website with her recipes, I actually cooked a dish a long time ago and left a picture for her on her website to show her what I did with her dish. And she liked it a lot and left me a comment about it. Anyway, so we got our chicken and our garlic in there, right? Next, we're going to need some black pepper. Then we're going to need some ginger, some minced ginger. Um, unfortunately, I have to use up all this paste. Obviously, I would like to use fresh, but I got some of the stir in paste. I got to get rid of it. Next, we got to add some soy sauce, which I forgot to pull out. Uh, soy, 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 soy. There you go. We got some soy. Then next, we have a little bit of a neutral oil. Don't use olive oil. It's going to change the, the uh, flavor profile. Uh, you want a neutral oil to go along with this. So uh, uh, I want three tablespoons of that. Next are the specialty ingredients. All right, this is uh, fermented red pepper paste. Um, 
I found this at my age in the market. They usually have this. I've always been able to find it. It's pretty popular. If not, you can order it off Amazon, I guess. We're going to take a, take a big old heaping spoonful of that. That's the end of that container. I've got another container in the fridge, I mean, in the cabinet. Um, the recipe calls for honey, or sorry, sugar, but I'm trying to avoid sugar, so I have some agave in the raw. It's a little bit easier on my stomach. If you want to check that out, that's it right there. And lastly, this I had to order online because I couldn't find it anywhere in my Asian store. This is red Korean red pepper flakes. Um, it was pretty inexpensive. I think I'll use it all. It doesn't seem like one of those things where I would uh, use it once and never use it again. Uh, it's really fragrant. It's not as super peppery as you would think it is. Uh, and I just took it and ate a spoonful. I mean, just took a bit and ate it raw just to test where it was at. And I didn't think it was that bad. I'm going to add some flakes. It's not like, uh, you know, a reaper or a jalapeno or anything like that. It's, it's in my opinion, it's rather mild. All right, so we are going to mix all this up. I'm going to mix it by hand. It's the only way I could really get this because that paste is so thick. Yeah. So you want this all mixed in together, all the chicken coated. Get in there. Don't be afraid to use them fingers. That's what they're there for. That's why God gave them to you. Get in there and mix. Once you got a good thorough mix, let's go ahead and Remove the gloves. When Meng Chi did this, she just used her bare hands, and I was like, you are a crazy woman. <laughs> All right. So the next part is we're going to go to the stove. Let's see here. Let's get that camera up there. We're at the stove now. We're just going to put this in on the stove that already got preheated. Then add a little bit of water to this. It's all steamy and dreamy. Get it mixed up.
think I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this. Just so I don't get a lot of burn to the bottom of the pan. That water will reduce. So you're going to have this sweet and spicy dish. Let's see if I have a lid for this. There we go. In the meantime, clean off my cutting board Bring our cutting board back. Now, for the next part, <laughs> my wife, as much as I love her, ate part of my ingredients. <laughs> so the next part is supposed to involve mozzarella cheese. But since my wife ate my mozzarella cheese, I'm going to use Munster. It's going to give me a similar effect, that stringy cheese pull. Yeah, and that uh, browning on the top. But traditionally, you would take some mozzarella and uh, just cube it up. Some low moisture mozzarella. You know what? I just want to take a moment. Target, this is stupid. Okay? When I get the label off, guess what it's doing? It's just ripping the freaking bag. How can I use this again? Stop doing this. This is the third time I've had this problem. <laughs> anyway. Now i got to find another bag for that. Let's see. So we are going to take some of this Munster here. I love Munster, by the way. I could eat this stuff just as is. Ow. Super good. Really good in a grilled cheese. Man, it makes the best pull. Best cheese pull. So we're just going to cube this up. go not lots of good monster the monster she is she is delicious take the rest of it thanks target 
making me use another bag. Make sure you squeeze all the air out of your cheese so you don't get it dried out. Alternate, alternatively, you can always uh, back seal it. I think it lasts longer. Oxygen, the one thing we need to breathe is also the one thing that's killing us all. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's check out his chicken. I love how this dish just has this bold red flavor. Fauchin's going to love it. And if you were so inclined, I bet this would also make some awesome chicken wings. But... In this instance, you don't have to worry about no bone. You can just go at it. All right. So as you can see, got a lot going on there. We're going to grab some garnish too. You know it wouldn't be this show without some green some green onion. Also clean up as I go and put this stuff up. go Let's check these out check this chicken out looking good so far nice and peppery should be cooked all the way through for the most part now we're going to add our cheese don't be scared add that queso Get her all in there. Whilst that is doing that, get my garnish ready. I'm 
Normally with a Korean dish, you would have some form of banchan to go along with it. Banchan is those little small dishes. If you've ever eaten at a Korean restaurant, those little small dishes that go with your meal. I seriously debated making some banchan. I wonder... I got snow uh, cucumbers. I was going to do that. All right. So I'm going to take this, uh, this um, pan of chicken. The cheese is melting right now. And I'm going to move it to the oven to let it bake and get this cheese melted. I got the oven at 450 degrees. I had it preheated. I know you're not going to get a lot of action out of this shot, but I promise you it's cooking. I'm going to turn that off. We're going to go back to the main screen here. I might need a bit more scallion. So I bought these scallions like three weeks ago and used them, yeah? And I left the end of it and put in some water, and now we have more scallion. Yeah, don't throw away the ends of your scallions, yo. Get some more money out of your product. You can be cheap. Ain't nobody got enough money to be throwing around for extra green onions. <laughs> And that's also about this show, yeah. I like how some shows, a cooking show, is like, yeah, just go down to your local butcher or whatever. You know where my local butcher is? You know, a true butcher? I have to go uh, 45 minutes away to get to a real butcher. I mean, I can go to my grocery store, but they're not preparing anything extra fancy or anything like that, yeah? So, I have people, and then, like... You know, they get a Kobe beef burger or whatever. How about we just make regular burgers? I mean, granted, Kobe beef burgers are good, but, you know, sometimes simple just works. And it's been successful because it works. You know, I laugh about McDonald's when they did those uh, fancy burgers. Because <laughs> all of a sudden they were too good for the Big Mac. And I'm like, wait a minute, over a billion Big Macs have been sold. Now you're too good for the Big Mac? Get out of here. All right. Let's check this out. Oh, our cheese is looking good. I'm wondering, though, if I should do something la fancy. Yeah. I got a torch. <laughs> I can brown that cheese up in no time. <laughs> Let's see. For the most part, it's pretty much melted. Oh, yeah, it's good and melty. So let's get this out of the oven. I'm going to scooch these green onions over. There, we have it, boys and girls. How does that look? Yeah? Let's get fancy. We're going to brown this cheese up. And hopefully not catch my camera. Mm. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that was a money shot right there. Now, we're just going to cover it in some green onion, some, some green onion for a little bit of vegetable. <laughs> And there you have it. Some Korean Bulldak. I believe it's called Bulldak. I may be wrong. Hopefully I am not wrong. Bulldak. 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 If you're Korean, I'm sure you'll let me know how I'm pronouncing this and completely ruining your dish. But that right there, my friends, is liquid gold or chicken gold, if you will. Now we're going to do a cheese pull before we log. You got chicken. You got cheese. Oh, look at the cheese. Yes. This is great with a nice beer. And there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of He's Got a Knife. Thank you very much. Um, if you like what you see, please come back for more. Give me a like on... Uh, or give me a follow on Twitch. If you're wa not watching this on Twitch Live, then you're watching this on YouTube. Click like and subscribe. Give me a comment below how you felt about the dish, how I mispronounced this or screwed this dish up. Um, also, give uh, Falchion Geek a look over at Borderless Gaming's uh, talk show, Borderless Gaming GSA. That's the uh, YouTube channel. That's where you'll find the videos, and I appreciate everything, and <laughs> thank you, Fashion man. Thank you for checking me out. Um, so thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed. He's got a knife, and maybe next episode I'll do something a little healthier. <laughs> And as my good friend Falchion would say, I'm Ghost. Later, guys.